I, I want to change subjects to what we saw this week in the Middle East and with what's going on with Israel and this blockade going on with Gaza. We know that we may be w within uh, a few hours of another confrontation uh, where there's another uh, humanitarian ship trying to go through. Did the, from what you understand, did Israeli intelligence fail the Israeli military leadership here and, and they ended up falling into what someone described to me as basically they fell into a PR trap? I don't think Israeli intel failed. I think they got sucked into a situation that they quickly lost control of. I mean, Chuck, the, the two biggest issues coming out of this are what is Israel's relations with Turkey going to look like? Turkey is one of Israel's most important allies. It's its only real Muslim ally. Defense intelligence cooperation is enormous between the two. If that goes away, then and Israel has suff suffered a real strategic hit. The second thing is, do you think a lot of people in the international community realize there was a three and a half year of blockade going on with Gaza? No. Nobody knew it. Nobody, yeah. knew it. Nobody around here knew yeah, it. The whole now world. everybody's paying attention to it. That's not good from Israel's perspective either. Mr. Bear, really quickly, uh, anything you want to add to that and how sort of Israel maybe just made a strategic error here? Oh, it's a catastrophe as far as I'm concerned. You're, what's, what's happened is that Turkey is being driven into the arms of Iran as an ally, and it's exactly what we didn't want. The only person to benefit, country to benefit from this is Iran. Wow, that's uh, some tough words to hear. Roger Cressy, Bob Baer, thanks for sharing uh, your expertise in this area. Thank you both.